everyone, welcome to Eden's Secret. This is Karen here, as usual, ready to make a new soap. And I'm just showing the tips that we're going to be using today is, uh, firstly, the Wilton 1M. The Sweetly Does It 8CS. It's like a, not a close start, in between in between open and closed uh, this one doesn't have a number on it but it's just a small uh, so probably a medium circle this is the sweetly does it uh, 113L now I don't recommend the sweetly does it nozzles because they're not very strong the Wilton ones are much much better so I'm going to find the versions of these nozzles in the Wilton and buy those um, so if you you know if you haven't got these nozzles I just recommend that you go for the Wilton version rather than the Sweetly Does It I mean the Sweetly Does It are cheaper so of course if you can't afford the more expensive ones then go for the Sweetly Does It you know they've done me for a long time but they do as you can see they do go out of shape where the Wilton ones don't. Perfect. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate uh, some soap off for later. This is going to be for the topping. Because I've never done it before I'm literally just going to fill it up. I mean I guess the, the weight of the soap it's no different to the weight of doing two loaves. It's still the same batch. Um, but I want quite a bit of topping on there. But maybe I won't need as like two kilos of topping. Which is what this jug holds. So I think I'll just pour a bit off. Just scrape it round the edge and see I've actually got the measurements of one off here. But I'd say that is about 1700, 1.7. And I want to do a nice uh, gold swirl in here. I might do a bronze swirl actually. I haven't done that before. So I'm going to pour. I want a nice big swirl. So I'm going to pour 900 mils into there. And this is just bronze. 20C from Mineral Makeup Ingredients. It is absolutely beautiful. I love it when I'm uh, using it to paint onto uh, bath bombs. It's gorgeous. You want it to be nice and dense so that the, the it pops as a swell, so you can see you know a good density. Right, so. What we are going to do is I'm going to use the um, the buttercup mica from Mica Mama, but I want it to be a little bit brighter uh, than usual. So I'm going to put a bit of the mix some yellow 240Y from Mineral Makeup Ingredients. I'm just going to put a bit of that in because it's very, very bright, just to brighten up the yellow somewhat. <clears throat> and we're also using lemongrass. I know it says Mechang on there. But it's actually got lemongrass in it. Lemongrass essential oil. Now, 
lemongrass is essential oil is really strong so we won't need as much as I would usually put in of um, <clears throat> fragrance oil so we'll just blend that in <laughs> There's a lot of glitter in that buttercup yellow so you can probably see that floating in the air because it's very sunny today. <laughs> And give them both a good stir, scraping all the way around the outside to get any unmixed colour in there. And then do the same with the yellow. We're going to pour the bronze in, I'm going to pour a blob there, a blob here, blob on that side, the rest going into the centre and then we'll scrape out the jug and scrape what we've got left in there as well and that is ready to pour. So I am using the slab mold today. I know I said I wasn't keen on the silicon liner. I'm not. But for this soap, I just think it's going to look better um, if I do it this way. I know it looks very bronzy but actually there's a, a lot more yellow in there than bronze and lemongrass essential oil holds very very well in cold process soap Right, so we're just going to let that set up and then we're going to start piping on top. Right, we've got our colours already mixed up and we're just going to lay out some clean film. The window's open, so... I'm just going to lay, lay the pink down there. And put the yellow on top. So that's why butter needs to be the same consistency
sticking the Wilton 1M in there. Still not ready to, to hide, but it's not far away. I'm trying to lift it up because, yeah, that's exactly what's going to happen. No. That's because it's too soft. Let's just go for it. Damn. Right, finally the soap's ready to pipe. It took forever. It's weird because the beer set really quick, but the topping hasn't at all. It's taken ages to get to that correct consistency. I just love the 1M piping tip for doing roses. Just popping some pink into this smaller tip.
going to put some white in there as well. The white is going in the circle. So we're just filling all the holes up now with the circular tip. That's really pretty. Definitely better to do the roses first. So if I just piped, I did the roses last and it didn't look as good as this. Plus the, the batter was a lot thicker and stiffer. Oh, that's pretty. It's exactly what I wanted. So what are you making for supper tonight everyone? I'm making shepherd's pie. Um, probably more be better known as cottage pie which is mince on the bottom and uh, mashed potato on the top. something I'm keen on right I think that's all the holes filled up now I really wanted those the white bits to be really pearly um, but that the white uh, ultra sparkle white glit um, spit it out Karen the ultra sparkle is very um, silver rather than pearl so I'm going to sprinkle 
just white glitter all over there that'll give it that pearl look but I, I just wanted it on the white bits not the pink bits but it's okay I mean it probably would have been impossible to get it just on the white anyway I need to fill this up Okay, we're doing exactly the same with this loaf that we did with the last loaf. I'm just going to weigh this up, make sure it is the right weight. Yeah. So it's a really pretty bar of soap nice swirl I'm feeling I know it's lovely but I think I wish I'd put a little bit of TD in the yellow or less of the bronze but it doesn't matter I'm still very very happy with it um, you know I'm just nitpicking really apparently there's a Mexican phrase called uh looking for tits on an ant that's what I'm doing <laughs> I heard that on a on a show recently I don't know which show it was but I didn't realize that that was a Mexican phrase watch I bet it's wrong I bet it's incorrect it's probably some other phrase from some other country It's just, it's just under 30 centimetres the, the length. So what I'm doing is I'm just knocking a millimetre off the length of each slice. To make sure each slice, I don't know what it is, the end bits always seem a little bit lighter than the middle bits so I'm just making the end bits a tiny little bit longer just a millimetre that's all just to try and make them as even as I possibly can I'm loving this soap it's going to be a lovely soap for spring and for Mother's Day fact all summer I mean it's just going to work all summer lemongrass is so uplifting It 
I really like this one. I like the smell of the aura better. Um, but a lot of people like lemon. But I like the look of this one better than the aura. I'm wondering if you see in this one before the angel aura. Um, so aura will be coming up soon as a video. I've got one more slice of length to cut, but I won't bother showing you that. 